and we're talking with Libby Handros and David K. Johnson. David K. Johnson, an excellent uh, reporter. He's also a columnist at the, da- at the Daily Beast um, and at the National Memo. And he's a, also a tax analyst and knows lots of stuff about that kind of thing, which we can talk a little bit about, too. And Libby Handros, who is the filmmaker and writer um, and producer behind a, a film called Trump, What's the Deal? that I highly recommend that you check out and you can see it at TrumpTheMovie.com. Um, I, I want to ask you, Libby, because in your documentary, you talk about, A, some of the sort of mislocated um, building projects that Donald Trump did during the 1980s and about his father's role in his rise as a real estate developer. Talk a little bit about that. Well, so misplaced projects. So the the project that David was talking about in Chicago is very reminiscent of a condo project that he built in West Palm Beach. Well, it was West Palm Beach, not Palm Beach. And mm. surrounding it were slums. So he was trying to sell expensive apartments in a slum neighborhood. And, you know, he did everything he could do to try and sell those apartments. He offered people rides on his yacht. I mean, it was a huge, hulking white elephant. And, you know, not this grand and glorious project. And he has kind of a a reputation for sometimes not building on Tiffany locations. Trump Tower was, but a lot of his projects aren't. Yeah. And, Mm -hmm. and, and, The interesting thing also is so many people out there, when you talk to them about Donald, they think, you know, he's kind of a rags to riches story or he's just like you and me. He pulled himself up and this is what he's done. No, you know, he was born with with a a real estate silver spoon in his mouth. His father made a lot of money uh, building uh, middle class housing using FHA government government money conservative Don, Republican, conservative Donald Trump using government money to build these projects, post-World War II housing, and his father got him started in the business. His father introduced him to everybody he did business with, all the politicians in New York City. Donald is not an outsider. He's an insider. Yeah, and not only that, but also wouldn't let uh, black people live in those buildings, which was always that uh, is special. Correct. That is correct. No, for, I mean, his father was an extraordinary racist, and yeah. built, and they were brought up on housing charges. Yeah, of Their course. Housing charges. They had to settle with the federal government. And David K. Johnson, go on. Uh, Joy, uh, Woody Guthrie lived in a Trump building and actually wrote songs about this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. So. The song is fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. Wrote songs about sort of the, the, the life of living in a Trump building.